Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I'm going to show you guys a super simple stitch. It's called the broken rib stitch. We've gone over so many different types of rib stitching I thought why not show you the broken rib stitch. This is a little piece I'm working on and it's so so easy. It's a two row repeat. Anyone can do it. Beginners, every I mean it's just easy. You won't even need a pattern because it's just that easy. Um, but yeah, this is what the front looks like. This is what the back looks like. It has a very nice texture. I don't think the color that I chose to show you is really showing up on camera. So this is something that'll take you maybe 10 minutes to get a nice little piece started so you can see for yourself if you like it. Um, and like I said, it's really, really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it, but real quick, first, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking and commenting and sharing my videos. It helps me out so, so much. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to knit this broken rib stitch. Like I said, super, super easy. Now normally, if you've seen any of my other videos, I normally cast on with you and we go from the beginning and I show you the whole repeating pattern. But this one is so easy, I thought I would just go ahead and show you from where I am right now. Um, two row repeat. So the first row, this will be like, you cast on an odd number of stitches. So we'll pretend this is my cast on, it's an odd number of stitches. Now row one. All you do for row one is knit all stitches. Now, like I said, I was working on a little sample just to show you a finished piece in the beginning of the video. Um, but it's so easy, I thought, why not just show you where I am right now and we'll just knit this little sample piece together. Okay, so row one, well first you cast on your odd number of stitches and then row one is just knit all stitches. And I think I have cast on like 23 stitches. I don't know. I was trying to make a nice little size sample piece so you guys could see it very well. So it might take me a little while to get to the end here. Okay, so row one was knit all stitches. Row two, which will be the wrong side of the work, is going to be, are you guys ready for this? It's really easy. It's knit one, purl one. Yep, that's it. <laughs> knit one, purl one, all the way across. And if you are absolutely brand new and you do not know what a purl stitch is, because there are some out there that have no clue, a purl stitch is just where you take your working yarn, you bring it up front, you insert your right needle in the front of that stitch on your left needle. So you just insert it, you take your working yarn, you wrap it around that right needle counterclockwise, and you pull up that stitch. That's a purl stitch. Put your working yarn in the back and do a knit stitch. So it's knit one, purl one, all the way across, just like regular ribbing. The only difference is, is on the next row, which will be row one again, because it's only a two row repeat, it's gonna be knit all the stitches. And that's it. It's that simple, guys. And I really encourage you to try it out. It'll only take a few minutes to get a nice little piece going, and you can see if you like it for yourself. Um, that's really all there is, guys. You cast on an odd number of stitches. You knit, row one is knit the whole row. Row two is knit one, purl one until the end of the row. And you will end with a knit stitch on row two. So, finishing up row two now. And that's it, turn your work and then you start over. Row one, row two, back and forth. And this is what you get. Like I said, I don't think the color of yarn I used really shows up the detail of the stitch or the pattern, but it is a very nice stitch. It would be nice for washcloth, dishcloth, a scarf. You could do a whole scarf and a nice chunky yarn, I think, and I'm using ridiculously long circulars. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, guys, that is the broken rib stitch. Like I said, I encourage you, please try it out. See if you like it for yourself. It will only take a few minutes to get a nice little sample piece going to see if it's something you like, and that's it. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day, and happy knitting. Bye.